All right, well, I cut it out. Um, I used my Chinese uh, saw, uh, hand saw, cut it out, and then shaped it up on the disc sander. Shaped it down the size. Um, now we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll glue it onto the uh, glue it onto the body. You can always do the soundboard, the bottom board first, and that way you have the top open. That way you can get into uh, if you decide to screw a screw in, which I probably will do into the neck. You can do that, and you'll still have access to the the soundboard. Don't think this needs a brace because the soundboard is going to be small. Making sure that it's um, there's no gaps in between, that the soundboard is bigger than the whole body of the instrument, and that way I can always sand it down. All right, well, that looks good. Let's go ahead and we'll get some clamps on her. I'd like to get the next flush as possible, and that way I won't have to worry about as much sanding on the neck, on the neck part. I don't think there we go. Yeah, that's still there for good, good, but yeah. I've talked about it before. But these little wheel vices are just spectacular for building those small instruments like this.
we go. We got it on, so we just gotta let it dry. Alright, well that's glued up. So I took my little measure angle right here and I measured that angle on that neck, right? And uh looks like it's a looks like it's a five degree. So I took that degree and I put it on here and I uh, took took my pencil and marked out that degree on that neck right there so now now I know now I know I can cut this right here and I'll give me the, the angle I want of this neck right and that way it'll be the neck will be sloped down a little bit and the, the fingerboard will be raised up so I'm gonna put that on there instead of being flat it'll be a little bit at an angle like that like a violin. Get a little bit more so fit the Makita with it. <laughs> so move it to the table saw. Not table saw, I mean my uh, uh, skill saw. And uh, cut that. Alright, I moved it to my skill saw and I cut it. And um, so I got that degree on it right there. So when I put it on the put it on the fiddle, it would be angled down a little bit. And what that does is it gives me it gives me it gives me an angle when I put the put the fretboard on there. The fretboards lift up a little bit, just like that. Should get in there. Move along. I learned from my other instrument that um, on the neck right here where the peg is, instead of having it have it rounded off like that, like I did the last one, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to having it rounded off. I'm going to take the my, my uh, bandsaw and I'm going to cut this piece out right here. So that way the string will drop down lower this time. I think it'll make it easier to tune it. So this piece, all this. All this right up in here, I'm going to cut out. I'm going to follow this line right here and cut that off. So I made my, I shaped that up right there with my uh, belt sander. And I took the, the, the end piece right here and I put a degree on it, uh, five degree on it. And that way I can, uh, the peg piece will, will actually go away from the body of the instrument. So... I figure I'll go ahead and, and mark the holes where I'm going to put my zither pins, the three zither pins. And that way, it'd be easier to drill the holes right now instead of waiting until after it glued onto the net. So, make it easy. be a three string go ahead and glue that on not working with end grain so we don't have to worry about putting glue on first
is going to definitely want to move. Not too bad. There we go. There we go. It's a good fit. I, th I thought for sure it's gonna move. I don't think it, it's not. Got a little bit of overlap, but we'll fix that later. All right. That is definitely a stopping point. <clears throat> Glue up. He's had enough time to dry. Yeah. Looks good. Put it on the sander and sand it up so I'm clean it up. Did some file work on the neck. Different, different files. File the neck down. Got a smooth, smooth on the edges. The edges you can run your finger up and down there. No splinters. Just smooth, smooth, smooth. It's going to be our. That's going to connect our our body like that. Hmm. Uh, starting to realize I should have cut this out more right here. I should have cut all this out right there and gave it a little bit more room to the soundboard, but it still it still should sound good. We'll we'll find out. Smooth. Next, I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put the neck at, and I'm gonna figure out. I want the neck to come. I want the the bridge to come over just a little bit over the the soundboard right there. So that way, when I have the fingerboard, it'll come up off the soundboard and won't vibrate. How the violin is so. I basically got it about as high as I want it. Put a line, line in the back, and now I know. I know this line right here is where I'm going to uh, put the neck, the neck of the little spoon fiddle. All right, so I know that's going to be line. So I need to figure out where my where my center is going to be at. Looks like it's, it's four, four centimeters, four centimeters wide. Put the mark on two centimeters right there. Ah. Engineer plane, man. You just you can't get no better than this. This is this is your best friend. Got my center line. So I 
No, that's my center line right there. So, let's see, we know our neck's gonna come up about this far on it. Got that far on it right there, I got that line right there. So I know my screw, I want my screw to be about right, right about here. Yeah, right about there. I'm going to drill my hole for my screw right there. Uh, that gives me that gives me enough wood and would divide into the neck right here joint. That way it won't come out the bottom. Yep. Right. Score it with a little bit. Uh, scoring ahead of time before you drill it in, get something to bit the bite into, and it won't spin and run around on. Uh... All right, I'm getting an idea where I'm going to glue the neck right here. I got my screw in place. I got a little center mark, and I'm going to uh, line this up that center mark. I got a little piece of uh, cut off board that's the same thick as my sound board. Put it right there, and that way. That way I know I can judge the uh, height, height of it, make it easy. I'm all about easy. That's right on mark, so that's where I'm going to glue it in right there. Nice and, nice and level. That's end grain, so I put some glue right there. I'm gonna let that glue dry good, and that way it'll soak into the end grain. So that way, when I put glue on it, it won't soak into the end grain. It'll get a good bond on it. <clears throat> I think that's about dry, so that's good. Get some glue on that. Enough glue, but not too much. This gorilla wood glue, man. It once it sets, it's there. It's bonded. It's crazy. It's a crazy glue. <clears throat> All right, let's take our, our board here. Get it in. Get it in place. There we go. A little soundboard clip there. Easier said than done. Get a vice and start playing with it. Try to get it down, glue, strap down. All right, I got it. I got it in place. Checking it with my little scrap of wood right there and make sure that it's still plumb. Looks good. <clears throat> Need to let it dry. Move on to the next step. All right, well, I got the, I took the clamps off. It's on there good, I mean, it's on there really good. So, uh, I, we got the neck attached to the body. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the, the uh, neck screw, or neck bolt, shall I say. This is a, a self-drilling screw. So I don't have to worry about pre-drilling it, which is good. I'll put that on there and get that locked in there. Don't wanna go too far, because you don't wanna crack it. That's good. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we got our screw in there. Just gives a little bit of extra support. All right, well, that's done. Looking good, man. Looking good from the back. Looking good. Like I 
I said when we put our soundboard on there, we put our soundboard and put our, our, our bridge on there, it'll come up over the soundboard. We put our soundboard on there. See how the bridge is coming up over a little bit? That's what I want. That's it. Enough for tonight. Tomorrow we'll, another day, well, it's starting to rain a little bit. Well, I rain on the uh, metal shed wants to put me to sleep.